I'm decorating my room for Christmas and this is my first video in the CWM series aka Christmas with Maddie and I'm so excited I would, I've wanted to do a video like this for so so long like, since the Day I uploaded my last critic rating room for Christmas I wanted to do this video and oh my gosh I'm so excited so in this video I'm going to show you some decorating tips me decorating my room and also some DIY decorations and yeah that is basically it so let's get started Woo! <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is take away all your fall stuff because you don't want fall stuff in your Christmas room duh. <laughs> Snow is falling Decorating, the first thing I like to start with is just decorate my bed, bedding, with a nice and white comforter and then a bunch of red Christmas pillows and it makes my room so Christmassy. Christmassy is not even a word, I don't know. But it makes my room so beautiful. I'm just gonna be then. then. It's the season, love and understand. And so Christmas is my favorite holiday I like to go all out and I even got out and bought a Christmas tree that I thought was so perfect so I decided to go decorate that with a lot of colorful Christmas ornaments and I think this looks so pretty I, I can't even like when I go to bed I see the Christmas tree like all light up I'm like yes Christmas is here yes it's all here it's all perfect okay And I opened all these Christmas bags and I just added them around my Christmas tree to pretend like they were gifts, but there were nothing in them. But I promise I'm gonna fill them up later. Now over to the first DIY that is a Christmas sweater inspired organizer. So what you're going to need is some random beauty products, and you're also going to need a Christmas sweater fabric. You can cut this off of a t-shirt or anything like that. But um, I made this last year and I just kept it. And if you want to, you can check out my last year's. Decorating my room for Christmas, I show you how to make this and you just click the image right there to come to that video. It's Christmas time. And then I finished off decorating my nightstand with some beautiful hearted lights. over to the second DIY that is the Christmas tree inspired wreath. So what I'm going to start with is just putting some nuts and pine cones on my wreath and I'm just using my hot glue to secure all of it. Then I'm taking my colorful jingle balls and putting them in by creating an indent and then hot gluing it to the wreath. And then after that I decided to go with these beautiful bark hearts and I think it looks so pretty and I also added some Christmas grass around the entire thing to cover it and it looks super awesome, super perf at the end and I totally love how this ended up. And then I hang this up on my wall and I think, I think it just looks so stunning. I just love it. Oh my gosh, I can't even... And DIY number three is the Cupcake Liner Christmas Tree. And this took a bit of time to make, but the result is so pretty, so it's totally worth it. So what you're going to start with is just roll your paper in a Christmas tree form, and then just take that together so it stays. And then you can just cut off the excess that you don't want to have in your Christmas tree. And then take your cupcake liners and cut off like a circle in the middle out, and repeat that process about 15 times or something. After me doing that on on about 15 cupcake liners, you're just going to start hot gluing them on the Christmas tree paper form, and it's really easy. You just continue upwards and fill in the holes, and it looks so stunning when you're done. And the hardest part of this entire Christmas tree is the top, so you wanna be very careful, and you'll make it. I promise. It's cold, but we'll be freezing in style. And let me meet a girl one day that wants to spread some. Oh my god, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Loves a game. And the last DIY today is the Christmas 
sweater inspires a light switch. So what I'm going to do is just get some Christmas sweater um, washi tape and just cover your light switch in that. And Make the bad guys good for a weekend. And that's it for the last DIY. I think this just makes my room like the light switch. Yeah, it makes my room totally complete. Okay. With a lot of Polaroid pictures, and I think it looks so stunning, so I just wanted to show you guys it. But this doesn't have anything to do with Christmas at all. I just wanted to show you guys it. Have a lot of hand sanitizers and nowhere to put them. I decided to go with this old Christmas box that I got one time, and I just filled it up with a lot of Christmas what Christmas uh, hand sanitizers, and it looks so pretty. But I also wanted to ha add a extra tint of Christmas, so I got out my Christmas papers and cut out a little like I don't know like a paper of it, and I. I wrote sanitizers and now I realized that I wrote it wrong but forget about that and I just put that up with some hearted stickers and I also added some three-dimensional stickers to my box and that is it lastly to finish my um, top of my drawers. I decided to go with some Christmas trees and some candy canes just to spice it up a little bit and I also added the Christmas tree that I made and I think just just made my room and it's complete now. It's complete. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. And that is it for the decorating my room for Christmas video. I hope you liked it and if you did remember to give it a Thumbs up and if you think my Christmas room looks very good now, you can comment that below and tell me if you like any of these DIYs and yeah, that is basically it. Thank you for watching. Bye!